What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my crazy jungle. Today, we have got to get my entire zoo ready for Hurricane Milton. Hurricane Milton is in the Gulf of Mexico. It's approaching Florida at speeds of 160 miles per hour at a Cat 5 storm. So we've got to cut some trees, we've got to collect some tortoises and we have got to head back over to the abandoned zoo to try to save the animals there before the storm hits. And last time we were there, there was a tortoise 15 feet underground stuck in a tunnel. So today, I'm gonna be heading down into that tunnel. We're gonna be attempting to save all of the animals before the storm hits. So guys, if you wanna see what happens in today's crazy hurricane adventure, well, you are in the right place and we're gonna head to the back and we're gonna start cutting some trees. There's no try, okay? So you see that tree, this is your target. Keep walking straight. Strong and pull as strong as hard as you can. Yeah. But when I'm telling you, not before, because I want to break halfway. Listen, we're gonna pray. No, <laughs> yes, you can pray, but we have no time for that. Because this won't help right now. All right, so the plan is, Mike's gonna cut the branch, and we're going to pull as hard as we can. Mm -hmm. All right, Mike, Mike, get down, get down. Pull, 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 pull. Yeah. What? This is not the cable. I can fix. So. What happened is we got the tree down, but the tree fell on our wire. So now we're gonna have to do an emergency repair right now of all of our steel wires. So this is what happened right here. You can see it fell right here on our steel cables. We kind of thought that was gonna happen because we don't have a pole saw. If we had a pole saw, we would have been able to cut some of the branches away slowly, but right now we don't have that. All right, we're cutting, let's go. This is a lot better than this branch falling on any enclosures. If this branch would have fallen on enclosures, that would have been a uh, worst case scenario. That would have been absolutely terrible. So it's better that we deal with the problem now before it becomes a bigger problem. Oh, closer. No, further. This way. Right there. Right there. Pull, pull hard. Hard, hard. Woo! That was so close. So close. That's why I saw a video for my wife and said, my kids, this is why your dad died. <laughs> So right now, we're over by China and Chong's enclosure, and we gotta trim this tree down because this tree is too close for comfort. It's standing straight up, so in a bad storm, it could go right, it could go left, it could go on the enclosure, so that's why we wanna take care of it before it's a problem. We wanna trim a couple of these branches up first, right over here, I think that's, uh, that's what we're gonna do. So, we gotta get a pole saw for the property. Something I've been holding off on. Cutting all these branches would be so easy. I would be able to do it right here. We wouldn't have to deal with a ladder. Just be able to go up there with the pole saw and cut everything right down. All right, guys, so we've got the rope around this branch. Mike is cutting it, and I gotta pull as hard as I can. And in theory, it's gonna come this way. Mike is coming! Woo! Nice! All right, so that's exactly what we wanted to happen. We didn't want it to be anything near the cage, so that's good, it fell that way. We took out some other avocado trees, but that is A-OK, -okay, because as long as the serval enclosure didn't get hit, that's all that matters. Oh, guess what, guys? Gabe is back. I came to help. Gabe is back. Guys, I came to help. I did most of this. Just taking yeah. the credit where it's due. So we got the tree down, so that's uh, pretty much all we needed to do back here for hurricane maintenance around the enclosures. So we're still gonna do uh, look at the rest of the trees back here to make sure they're all in good shape. And after we check up on all the rest of the trees here, we have got to get all of my tortoises inside before Milton hits. We got to bring in my Galapagos tortoises, we got to bring in the radiated tortoises, and we've got to bring in the star tortoises. Those tortoises are typically more sensitive to the rain that we have here in South Florida. And then all the other reptiles are pretty much going to be staying outside, but we're going to be monitoring the wind. So at a moment's notice, we might run out, we might bring everyone in, and then after we do all of that, we're heading back over to the abandoned zoo, like I was telling you guys, and we've gotta rescue the tortoises. The tortoises could be in the burrows. We have no idea, so let's head out and let's go see what's going on. The wind is picking up, and we have made it over to our Galapagos tortoises, and these are the next animals we're gonna be putting away for Hurricane Milton. 
right behind us. You can see the wind picking up on the bamboo. Uh, I don't know how the audio is going to be on the camera because we got some crazy winds coming in. But basically, to get the giant tortoises in, we're going to use this orange bucket to attract them. All these tortoises are attracted to brightly colored objects. So if we just put the bucket there, you're going to see that this tortoise is going to walk towards the bucket and it's going to immediately start to eat it. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to place that bucket in their house. So hopefully the tortoises will see the bucket and then they'll all walk into their house. So you can see, oh, he sees it. He's starting to get interested. One minute, 37 seconds later. One hour later. One eternity later. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Guys, just like I said, he was going to do. He came and he tried to eat the buckets. All right, come on, little guy, come on. So this little guy is making his way over to the orange bucket. So our theory is proving out to work, but I just realized we're gonna have to move the bucket to get the attention of the other tortoises. Come here, buddy. Come, see this bucket. Oh, look, as soon as I showed him the bucket, he started walking our way. Guys, look how incredible these giant Galapagos tortoises are. And that's why we've got to protect them because these are an endangered species. We don't want anything to happen to these guys in a storm. So that's why we're doing everything in our power to get all the animals prepared so they're all nice and safe from the storm. We've got all three of the tortoises right here in front of the bucket. So they're all trying to eat the bucket right now. Look at this, this is crazy to watch. So all three of our giant Galapagos tortoises are here, our three biggest ones. Now we just are waiting on the Aldabra. So now that we've herded them all here, we're just gonna move the bucket this way and they should walk right in here. Come on guys, let's go. Are you guys sizing up now? So these tortoises like to size each other. But hey, hey, be nice to your brother. You gotta be nice to each other. Okay, so we've got Harriet inside of the house distracted with one bucket. We've got our other big guy distracted with another one. So I think we might have to get a couple more buckets. Oh wait, no, he might actually try to eat this. Come on, let's go this way. Come, come, come. Come this way. You can eat the bucket, but it has to be this way. Come on. So just like a dog, you just kind of toss the bucket and he'll pretty much go fetch it. So now that we toss the bucket, you're gonna see, he's not gonna chase it and run like a dog, but he's surely gonna walk over to it. All right, Harriet's distracted and we have got just a big enough of an opening where I think our other guy's gonna be able to come in. Hey, hey, we gotta go in. Hey, we can't, we have to come in. Look, come this way. Come, we can't go away. Hey, hey, come, come, come. Hey, what, buddy, where are you going? Hey, we gotta go. Come on. Let's go. Where are you going? Hey, we're, we're going this way. Okay, we've got all the tortoises inside of their winter house. Now, the only issue we're dealing with is because we've only had one latch all summer, the door is warped. When we go to close it, it doesn't want to close. So in order to close it and keep it secure, we gotta put all of our body weight into it just like oh and we still didn't close it we closed the bottom just wait all right we got the bottom and the top closed up and it's ready to go so i'm so relieved that we were able to get the galapagos tortoises inside of their hurricane shelter and now that we got to get those big guys inside of their shelter we have got to finally head over to the abandoned zoo the wind is picking up I just looked at the radar and the storms are about to roll in. So it's now or never. If we don't go now, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get these tortoises from the storm. So we're gonna go get our gear and we're gonna head to the abandoned zoo and we're gonna go save some tortoises. All right guys, we made it back over to the abandoned zoo and we are searching for the Socata tortoise. Now we got five acres to roam. We've got two Socata tortoises here. Now we came over here to ground zero where we found the biggest one the first time, which was right here behind us. However, we have no idea where this tortoise is. We haven't gone over to the cave yet. We just wanted to check this giant field first and check all up in the bushes to try and find and locate this tortoise because there's all different burrows and all different areas that this animal could be. It could literally be anywhere. That's why we gotta come in all the corners of the jungle to try and locate and find this tortoise. Now, I remember there was some kind of a cave over here. Now, it's really important that we find this tortoise because if there's flooding that comes in this area and they happen to be in the cave, again, they could literally flood, they could drown, they could get trapped in there, the cave could collapse in on itself. We can't let any of that happen. So that's why we're here to find this tortoise. So we're not seeing anything over this way. But again, I wanna check all up in the bushes. Oh, we almost tripped and fell there. Not seeing any of these guys back here. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. And today I decided to bring my mom to the abandoned zoo. So what do you think so far? This is very cool. What do you think of everything we're gonna be uh, getting here today? Unbelievable. It's insane. So it is. you gotta help us find a tortoise. So All mom, right. I think 
I think you should go I'm like, you should go this way. Okay. All right, you go Bye. that way. All right, good luck. Thanks. Bye. So there's been no sign of the tortoise yet, but I just made it to the creepy steel building that I saw last time we were here, but I didn't go inside of it. So guys, let me know down below, what do you think is inside of this creepy steel building? We're about to head in and we have no idea what we're gonna find. It looks like no one's been in here in at least 10. Wait, I hear something. I hear dripping. Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? Okay, I hear dripping. What? Oh, there it is, the roof. It's about to cave in on itself. And it's dripping and leaking. I don't know if you can see it, but this whole roof is bowing out. There's all these old kennels here. This is crazy. Look at all this stuff. Old traps, old enclosures. <laughs> Guys, this is crazy. This is honestly one of the craziest places that I have ever been to. Um, there's nothing in here, but what it looks like is these are all old enclosures because there's wire on this side. And right over here, I just saw a bunch of doors so i think all of these doors were once for right here back in back in its glory days but apparently nothing's been here for a long time i don't think anything has been in here for again 30 40 years this whole building is about to collapse i, I don't even think it's safe to i don't think it's safe to be on here all right we made it out of the creepy building and we've got to continue our search for the giant sulcata and our search is going to continue in the forest and in the bushes now as i walk you guys hear the crunching and the creaking? So if the tortoise is in here moving, as he's walking, I'm gonna be able to hear it because all of the leaves and all of the branches, as you step on them, they crack and they break. And that's gonna happen when the sulcata comes back here because this tortoise is giant. He's pushing about 200 pounds. So if I'm making some noise, he definitely is. Okay, so my mom is calling me right now and I think maybe they found it. Mom? Hi, yes. Did you find the tortoise? I I found it. You where was on it? On the other side of the zoo, way back over here where we were. Where? Well, I have no idea where you are. <laughs> I have no idea. What, wherever you left me, I went a little deeper. Okay. Before and it was it was it. it was in the jungle. It is. Okay. It's over here I'm coming. On the... All right. Okay, okay. I'm coming. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. Guys, mom. Ma where are you? I'm coming. Well, I think they went this way over in these bushes. So originally we were right over here. Mom? Okay, I hear him coming from this way. Guys, this is crazy. All right, we're coming through the bushes. We're coming through the Velociraptor cage. And there he is. Look how big he is. Very big. It's cool, right? And right here you can really see the true massive size of this Sulcata. Now, I'm gonna try and attempt to pick him up, but as you guys can see, when I go to hug him, just look at when I hug him. This thing is massive. This is the biggest tortoise I've ever seen in my life, at least the biggest sulcata. And we're gonna need every ounce of manpower to get this guy loaded into the truck. So the best bet I think is two hands here. The thing is, is if you go too far in, you have to get like here. So you're, are you gonna go to his leg and I'm gonna go to this leg and he's gonna go right there and we're gonna do a try. Right? Yeah. And we're gonna go here, here, and we're gonna go one, two, three, up he goes. Put him over. Yep, okay. down easy. Okay, oh, now we move. Like that. Here we go, stay right there with him, oh, boys. Wait, wait, he's gonna... All right, we got the giant tortoise on the cart. Down. So the whole point of this is so both the legs on the front and the back are free hanging. Oh, so he doesn't grab doing? it and get any traction. How am I doing? We're good, perfect. We're straight? good. Okay. Yep. Giant tortoise. Okay. Let's go, yep. let's go. Let's go, let's get him. Let's go. All right, we're going to move one of those tails out of the way. You could, you could bust up the tail. Can you feed a little bit? No, we could bust up the bust tail. Bust up the tail. Guys, look at this giant tortoise. So we're opening up a bale of hay right now to get it covered in the back of the truck. Because the only way to transport this giant tortoise is by putting it in the back of the truck. If we were to put it in a U-Haul, it would bust through the back of the U-Haul door. So we can't do that. So this guy is safe. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you, buddy. I didn't mean to scare you. So right now we gotta keep two hands on him in case he tries to jump off of here. But look at that, we got a bunch of hay in the back of the truck. All right, one, two, three. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. Yep. Yep. Don't let them hurt you. Okay, right. let's let them set for a second. Yep. Let's get up here. Then we we'll push them in. Let's move some of this out of the way. And make like a little 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 cavity. That was, yeah, that's kind of just giving them a. Yep, exactly. This, we'll, I'm worried we're gonna climb this. I agree. You could stuff it in behind him. Yeah. To give him no more room. Yep. All right, let's get him up here. Yep. Yep. Now we can just push him. Come on, buddy. This is your new home. Let's go. 
Now nah, we're good. All right. Take a step for us. Let's go, buddy. Take a step. Now you guys really can't tell on camera how big and how massive and how heavy this tortoise is. We got all the hay in the back of the truck. So we wanna, oh, oh he's gonna, he might try and ram me. I know, buddy. We only got, yep, you wanna close that up? Yes. Nice, thank you. Got it closed. Yes, so we wanna get this guy pretty much tucked away in the corner. I'm gonna put the bale of hay right here so he can't get out. All right, we got the big guy loaded in the back of the truck and now we are going to check the tunnel to see if the other tortoise is inside and I'm gonna give it my all. I'm literally just gonna start crawling all the way down in and there's only one way to do this and this is by just literally getting immediately on my stomach and crawling in. We're just sliding down in the tunnel again. And here he is, oh, here he is! Guys, the big tortoise is here. Except I don't know if we're gonna be able to get him out. What's up, buddy? He doesn't seem too excited that we're here and as you can see, it's already wet. He's completely wet. And I think the cave has collapsed in on itself a little bit more since the last time we were here. It's definitely not as big. At least it doesn't feel as big. But here's this big tortoise, so buddy, we gotta get out of here. Come on, buddy. Come on, let's go. Hi. All right. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this big guy out, but we're gonna do everything in our power to get him out before Hurricane Milton gets here. I think there's a spider on my neck. Oh no, I just felt something get bit. So when you go down into a tunnel like this, huh, anything is possible. Spiders, snakes, scorpions, anything. All right, buddy. Come on, big guy. We gotta get out of here. Come on. I don't think we're gonna get him. But I think he might be okay in the storm. Come on. I don't know. We can't, literally, we can't get our arm around him. We have no traction. You can see he's locking his foot up against the rock because we got our hand on him. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Ah, the bite on my neck is starting to get worse. Come on, big guy. We gotta save you from the storm. And when he doesn't want to move, guys, I'm telling you, you're not gonna move him. I got a root. I've got a branch. Guys. We're making our way, ow, ow, that really hurt. We're making our way out of the tunnel right now. Guys, look at that. When I mean this tunnel goes back far, I'm literally crawling out of it on my hands and my knees. And unfortunately, today everything went wrong with the cave. We thought we were gonna be able to get him out, but we were not. And with this storm coming, guys, I don't think we're gonna be able to get him out of the cave, but I think he's gonna be perfectly fine. I don't think we're gonna have crazy weather. And the good thing is he can, get out of the cave but ideally we would get him out but it's literally impossible this thing is over 12 to 15 feet down tucked away i don't know if you guys see this tree right here the back of the cave is right here this is where the tortoise is so we gotta go all the way in into this back cave and if we were to pull him out this tortoise is almost as big as the other guy and when we go to pull him he's opening his legs and he's locking his legs up against the rocks which is making it impossible to get him out. Look at this, this is the root system right here. This is insane that the tortoises have dug out this burrow. All right, we're coming out of the jungle right now. And as you can see, I am totally trashed. But now that we went inside of the cave and we were unsuccessful, we still have another tortoise in the back of the truck and it looks like the hay is moving. So the tortoise here is actually moving. So the good thing is he actually cannot move from out of the truck. That's the most that he can move. So this guy is starting to move around. It's okay, buddy. We're going home and you're gonna be okay, buddy, okay? So I'm gonna be sitting in the back seat as we're driving and I might actually have to get inside of the back of the truck if this tortoise starts to move around. But thankfully, we're gonna be in five o'clock traffic, so we're gonna be moving slow. It's nice and cool out, it's overcast. Because if it was a sunny day, we'd have to worry about this tortoise overheating. So thankfully, it's cool, and it's honestly the perfect day to move a giant tortoise. Okay, we have just got back to the zoo, to the property, and we did good. We fared well, and we've got our big boy here. He made it, and we're ready to unload him now. The hurricane is on the way, so we're not gonna be putting this guy outside and in a pen for the next two days we're actually going to be moving him right here into this horse stall we're going to be putting hay all in here so this is going to be a safe space for him while the storm is here this is concrete on all three sides so we don't have to worry about him getting blown away in a storm and it's going to be perfect so same thing we're going to get him loaded right here on the cart and we're going to put his legs off the front side off the back side so this big guy does not move out of the way but he's extremely heavy all right we got to keep hands on him make sure he doesn't run off Guys, you really can't tell how big he is until you're here in person. This thing is like two, three feet wide. 
Just like that. Wait, push him forward more. More forward, Dad. One, two, three, let's go. Okay, we got him in. All right, nice. Two, one. Two, just make sure he doesn't crash. Okay, on the ground. All right, there he goes. So right now what Michael's doing is we're putting a barrier right here, a two by 12, so this tortoise doesn't ram the door open. This tortoise is so strong that even though we close it and we put a latch on it, we still have to worry about this tortoise pushing through. Nice. I think we got one right here. Let's go. Beautiful. We gotta get one more. Amazing. And oh, now let's go. let's go and we got this little gap. So if we need to clean it out, we can actually spray all the poop and pee out. No problem. Beautiful, beautiful. And now we just gotta get all the hay out of the back of the truck. We're gonna be putting that all inside of the wheelbarrow. Oh, and you just wanna get all this hay. This is one whole bale of hay. We got a lot of it. And we're just gonna dump her just like that. Beautiful. Amazing. That's exactly what we wanted. And we're just gonna get in here, we're gonna start spreading this hay around, we're just gonna kick it all around to cover the entire floor. We're gonna let this big guy settle in and I've gotta go out and do some last minute hurricane prep before the storm gets here. The wind is going crazy, there's already been tornadoes down here in my area, there's been tornadoes at other wildlife facilities up north, so I'm just gotta get everything ready here. So that is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video, getting my entire zoo ready for the hurricane. Make sure to comment down below a prayer to all of us here in Florida, especially to everyone on the West Coast. The storm is gonna be making landfall any minute now, any hour now, so I'm praying for all my people on the West Coast of Florida. And if, again, if you guys are watching and you need anything um, and you're over there on the West Coast, comment, email, DM me. Uh, we're gonna be sending supplies over there. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you wanna see how we do in the storm, well guys, all you have to do is go right now and subscribe below.